Smuttino's Brewing Company is a craft brewery located on the historic Toll Farm in Hampton, New Hampshire, United States. The company takes its distinctive name from Smuttino's Island, one of the Isles of Shoals. Smuttino's beers are all unfiltered and known for their distinctive labels, many of which feature original photography. They also travel widely, available in 25 states and 11 countries. The Toll Farm campus has been certified LEED Gold by the U.S. Green Building Council, recognizing the efficient design and green mindset of the company. In March 2018, the company was sold at auction and subsequently purchased by Runnymede Investments of Northampton, New Hampshire. The Smuttino story Smuttino's was founded in 1994 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Founder Peter Eggleston and his sister Janet had opened the Northampton Brewery in 1987 and the Portsmouth Brewery in 1991. They acquired the assets of a small, short-lived microbrewery in Warehouse on the southern edge of town. Early partners Paul Silver and Jim Beauvais, founders of Ipswich Brewery, were quickly bought out. The first Smuttino's pints were poured on July 14, 1994, along Portsmouth's historic waterfront. Portsmouth Mayor Eileen Foley toasted the new brewery with 16 ounces of Shoals Pale Ale, the brewery's initial offering. In 2004, Smuttino's began looking for the site of its new home in Newmarket, New Hampshire, but the deal fell through in late 2005. Subsequently, Smuttino's begins working on plans to build a new brewery on a 10-acre parcel along U.S. Route 1 in Portsmouth, but the project met community opposition and was abandoned. The company's annual production volume surpassed 15,000 barrels in 2006. Gross sales for Smuttino's Brewing Company in 2009 reached $5.7 million. The following year, construction began on Smuttino's's new home on the historic 17-acre toll farm in Hampton, New Hampshire. The final capacity expansion at the original brewery was commissioned in 2012. Total production in 2012 was 40,744 barrels. Smuttino's officially moved to the Toll Farm headquarters in 2014. The facility was opened to the public on May 29. The facility featured a four-vessel, 100 hectoliters, automated brewhouse, state-of-the-art bottle filling equipment, tours, tastings and a nine-hole disc golf course. In 2016 Smutty Nose received LEED Gold certification from the U.S. Green Building Council, making it the second and largest brewery to receive the seal at the time. On January 18, Smuttino's announced a bank auction of the brewery to be held on March 9, 2018, unless a buyer or partner were found. Key factors of the company's financial challenges were a slowdown in the growth of craft beer sales, and a switch in consumer preference from beer in bottles to beer in cans. On March 9, lender The Provident Bank purchased the company at auction for $8.25 million. On March 16, Runnymede Investments said that it had purchased the company from the Provident Bank for an undisclosed amount. Topic: <coughs> Core Beers. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Seasonal Beers. Topic: The Big Beer Series. The Big Beer Series is a rotating lineup of beers best brewed in limited amounts. 
Since its inception in 1998, nearly 25 different beers have appeared in the series – barley wine, wheat wine, imperial stout, scotch ale, smutinator double bock, mybach, baltic porter, gravitation, dunkel lager farmhouse ale, zinnica, rocky road, triple, smistletoe, winter porter, kolsch, east coast common, big aipa, farmhouse ale, frankenlager, kindest find, beereda, shire, really old brown dog, Rhyeipa, and homunculus. Some big beers have grown into other parts of the Smutty Nose lineup. <laughs> Smut Labs Smut Labs evolved from the short batch series of single brew batches of classic beer styles, experimental techniques, or unusual ingredients. When Smuttinos moved to the Toll Farm Brewery, Smut Labs took over the original Portsmouth facility, giving it a range of options for batch size, contract brewing capacity, and the ability to allow Smut Labs beer the time they need to age and condition. Smut Labs beers, like the short Weisser beers, can also move to other parts of the portfolio. As of early 2016, all Smut Labs releases are exclusively allocated through the Beer Vault, where bars and restaurants can choose any available beers in the available. <laughs> 